What up, it's me, A to Z, and we're back with Marokami. Last time, we explored the newly rejuvenated Taka Pass after reviving the Guardian Sapling, and we explored, we got some stuff done, we basically did everything that we could possibly do before feeling comfortable enough to head onwards. We also briefly visited Sasa Sanctuary and realized that the Sparrow Prince is du <laughs> Sparrow Kings! Oh, God, Sparrow Prince. <laughs> I am the Sparrow Prince. Lemmy Winks, you must quickly make your way to the small intestine. <laughs> God, will there be a day where I don't go without referencing South Park? Anyway, we realized the Sparrow boss's daughter was missing, so that's something else we're going to have to take care of. But, we'll worry about that later on. Because now, our main objective for the day is to head up here. And up here is the entrance to Kusa Village. There is a big windmill here at Kusa Village. Which has been mentioned by many people, including Isun and the Half-Baked Prophet himself. So, I say we make that our primary attraction for today. Once we walk up these really, really unnecessarily long stairs and so... Well, that's foreboding, isn't it? <laughs> well, why don't we leave before we think? Welcome to Kusa Village. And there is indeed a big windmill here that is not spinning and an evil air has plagued the area. Yikes! What's this creep evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse zone here, but I definitely sense evil. Uh-huh, it's basically the same as a curse zone. We're not losing health, but we are slowly losing ink, and our ink has no effect. No go, Furball. Your celestial brush ain't gonna work when evil power this strong. So, yeah, we don't have ink, unfortunately. So, <laughs> fighting things is going to be a little bit tricky. Evolve a luck. I want to do some trading at the Gale Shrine, but it's been taken over by some monster, and it's panic all around. Well, we might as well just go shopping here anyway. And see what they have. Now, I believe they have... Yes! Yes, the Infinity Judge and a Gold Dust. And a Pinwheel. Okay, here's what we'll do. Can I... Oh, I can't sell anything! Damn! I thought I had enough money, because I want to buy the Infinity Judge. That's a third tier reflector. We're already we're getting a third tier weapon, which is pretty nuts. But then the gold dust is another 10,000. I can't afford it. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy the Infinity Judge, and I'll buy the Pinwheel. The Pinwheel is going to be important for something later. But I'll buy the Infinity Judge now and equip it. God, that sucks that I can't get the gold dust for it now. Uh, I'll worry about it later. Anyway, we now we already have our third tier weapon just briefly at the end of the talk of pass. I gotta say, the Infinity Judge, it looks pretty cool. I kinda like how it breaks apart. It's a really good weapon, and if you can get gold dust on it, man, is it amazing. But, ah, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, God. Well, I'm kinda glad I upped my wallet, but at the same time, it's like not worth it. Now, if I were you, before exploring Kusa Village any further, just do what you need to do. Because remember, your ink is slowly depleting. And I will just spoil, there is going to be a fight coming up, and if you run out of ink before you even start that fight, it's not going to be pretty. So quickly just make your way to where you need to go. Oh, this is most unfortunate. I have been possessed in a momentary lapse in vigilance, and I was trying so hard to defend this village. Now it shall be reduced to a horrible curse zone. Alas, my strength, it wanes. All is lost. Well, how about some divine intervention as we fight this new enemy, Blue Imps? I kind of like how they have this, their parchment as a bit of a kite. <laughs> now, remember, your Celestial Brush does not work. So just don't even worry about Floral Finisher. Just kill everything rapidly. Like, you, you normally I would suggest... Okay, we're, okay, we're just, okay, here you here you are. So I can't even attack you, like, normally like with Celestial Brush. Like, this is the best I can do. Hold on, hang on, hang on, come on. Are you serious? How'd you get back up in the air, you twat? Whatever, you're dead. But yeah, you don't have your brush. I don't remember them refilling your brush that generously, like, right before you do that fight. What is going on with this camera? But yeah, that's why I said you want to take care of that curse zone really quickly. Hmm? Have I been freed from the evil curse? You've saved me, but I don't know how. What the heck happened, sweetness? Oh. Are you familiar with my family, the Satomi House? No, I can see now that you're not. Still, you may be of great service to me yet. Will you not listen to what I have to say? You just keep talking, pretty lady. Isun's listening. 
<laughs> Step number one for picking up women, be a good listener. Clearly, Isun has read his books. <laughs> Thank you. I am Princess Fusei, priestess of the Gale Shrine. The Gale, Shri the Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Kamiji. Kazegami, the god of wind, is enshrined in there. The wind blowing down from there keeps the monsters away. Known as a divine wind, it is venerated as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day. And that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Will you hear the rest of my story? There is only one explanation for why the divine wind has stopped. It is that horrible monster, Crimson Helm! The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Crimson Helm's control ever since he appeared in Taka Pass 100 years ago. My people, the Satomi House, keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest while he was weakened by sickness, and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only I could vanquish the Crimson Helm and free the Gale Shrine. But I am no match for the evil barrier that now bars entry. There is only one hope now. Only the warriors who serve the Satomi House can right this wrong. Our last remaining hope for defeating the Crimson Helm is... The Satomi Canine Warriors! The Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the Shrine and served the Satomi House for ages, but alas. They are now scattered throughout Nippon. If we could bring them together again, they could break the barrier and retake the shrine. Really? Then why don't you just summon those puppies on back? I have already tried, but I have yet to receive any word of their coming. I sense their presence nearby, but have yet to find them. What if they were attacked and injured? Or even worse. I beg you, will you please sniff out their whereabouts? You might find this useful. And we got the canine tracker! I sense five of the Satomi canine warriors here in this village. They are a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly to strangers, but they should return to me once they see the canine tracker. The canine tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it along with your strength to find them. Leave it to us, sweetness. We'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see how she thanks us, Ami. <laughs> Mine out of the gutter, soon. Mine out of the gutter. What, what's she even going to do? You're a tiny... This is the problem, and this is going to become a trend as you see along in the game, how Isun is a sucker for the ladies, but, but, just but. Anyway, so we have the canine tracker here, and you'll notice that the signal will get stronger depending on how close we get to the canine warriors. So we are basically hunting throughout all of Kusa Village for these canine warriors. Now, oh, okay, okay, we made it up here. Because I know one of them, oh, we got to feed the, the chickens. And speaking of feeding, you'll have noticed, or did I do this in the last episode? I probably did do this in the last episode, that I did stock up on meat feed bags. And there's a good reason as to why. So, if we hop in here, if we hop in here, canine tracker should be going a little bit crazy right now. There we go. There we go. And would you believe it or not, they weren't kidding when they said canine warriors. What's a dog doing in here? Hmm? I, I think he's trying to say something. Let me listen carefully. I can understand some animals. It's wagging its tail. Bet it's that canine tracker you got there. Huh? What? Give me some food. I'm hungry. Sheesh. We just met and it's begging for food? Man, what terrible manners. What can you expect from dogs? Dogs like to go bark bark and eat food all the time. What am I, what am I, doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, I'm trying to... Oh, right. We have to actually like go in... And give it the food. There we go. So this is why you want the meat feed bags. <laughs> because these dogs need the food. And you need to talk to the dogs. Because, as I'm sure you could have guessed by now... I am full. My master, Princess Fusei, has summoned me. However, I didn't want to go straight home. You hear that, Ami? That means this dog is one of the Satomi Canine Warriors. You didn't think they were actually dogs, huh? Now that my stomach is full, I will return to my master. You hear that, Ami? Yes. It's a dog. The way Princess Fusei talked about him, I thought they were human. Think these flea bags are gonna be any help? You know, I find that offensive, Isun. Did you forget that I am a dog? 
I mean wolf. Whatever. I'm a canine. Lupine. Whatever. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not an animal biologist. That's not my thing. You know. You know me. I, I'm science, but I'm not a. I'm not an animal biologist. That's not my thing. I'm, I. I didn't study to be a vet. Anyway, that's one of the canine warriors down, and we got four more here in this village to find. So, how am I doing on money, by the way? I uh, should still be at like yeah, three. Yeah, there's no way I'm still I'm gonna be able to afford that gold dust. Anyway. All right, the next canine warrior, I believe, is going to be around here. Yes, right around here, but I have to do this. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that that happened? There we go. Upon getting rid of this mini curse zone, there's one of the canine warriors. What's a dog doing here? It's wagging his tail, too. Give me some food. Sheesh. Why do these flea bags think we're going to feed them? I suppose it's dog common courtesy. I, I got no clue. I never owned a dog. I have friends who have dogs, but I've never owned a dog myself. So it's like, I don't know if dogs are always perpetually hungry. I've never owned a pet. I've said on multiple occasions, I'm not really a pet person. But, you know, whatever. There's the second one. Canine Warrior Shin. All right, two down, three to go. Can you believe these guys? I know, right? They're such gluttons. Okay. Now, the next one is going to be down here, I believe. No, I can't make that jump. Okay, I'm going to have to go the long way then. And, oh, geez, nighttime's coming to the village anyway. It's not like it matters because the village is surrounded by a perpetual cloud. Okay, good. I can jump down here because there is a clover. We bloom this. Oh, hey, I recognize you. I know who you are. Let's talk to you real quick after we feed you. Okay, I think you guys, yeah, these, these, uh, raccoons. No, technically they're tanukis. <laughs> they require meat. But it's fine, I bought enough meat bags anyway. It's, I'm totally fine. That's why I bought extra. Because I knew other than the five dogs I was going to be feeding, that I would need them for other animals. Ah, you're the white wolf I saw back in Kamiki Village. I'm traveling the land to spread the good teachings of Buddha. There seem to be so many places in need of guidance. I can feel it here too, a sinister coldness in the air. You have to be on alert, on alert at all times. Like now, behind you! So yeah, just like last time, enemies will show up uh, whenever you talk to this guy, and you have to beat them quickly. All right, uh, power slash, get rid of you. Quickly, go, 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 I'm running out of time. Running out of time, you gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Did I, did I kill the dead? Oh, I did, I got him. There we go, I got him. Oh, there's a, there was another one. I didn't even realize there was another one. I'm probably not gonna at this rate. Did I? I'd be impressed if I did. But yeah, like you'll remember when we were in Kamiki Village, you have to kill everything in a certain amount of time. So did I do it? Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. It went on for 18 seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I may have devoted myself to the following of the path of Buddha, but your divine power is still always a sight to behold. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. I thought it was a little bit too slow. If I was too slow, I would have been fine with that because then I could just keep on grinding for money, get myself up to 10,000 and get that, uh, able to be able to afford that gold dust. Anyway, here's another one. I'm not even going to bother talking to it. I'm just going to straight up give it the meat. Like, why waste time and talk to every animal when I can just straight up feed them? It, it, it's, it makes all of the sense. Damn, we're coming up to 200 praise again. <laughs> I am full. You have quite a way with words. You want food and then you say you're full and you're gonna go back to your mom. I mean, master. Can you believe these guys? I know, right, Isun? They're, they're such gluttons. Well, on the plus side, at least they refill us with another feedback. I, f I feel like that's what they do. Like, whenever you find these canine warriors, they're just going to refill your feedback. So it is pretty, uh, it is pretty generous. Okay. Now, we're not done here because I think on a low we're going to have to go to a lower level. I think down here, yeah? Yeah, down here, down here. Tick, tick. Ami? Can we, can we jump down, please? Okay. I don't, the canine warrior is not down here, but there is something else over here that I want to, uh, that I want to do. Slash get slash talk to after I feed you idiots. I am the most benevolent god, <laughs> calling all of my followers idiots. Anyway, down here, this old man. <sighs> what a pickle I'm in. Hmm? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. You didn't, you didn't have to say pickle twice. You got it the first time. I'm a craftsman, and I work with bamboo, as you see. 
but I can't get any to work on right now. Oh, I shouldn't burden you with my problems, Wolfie. There's Mr. Bamboo! Boy, it must be some big pickle if you're conv- <laughs> Isu, for the love of God, I said enough with the pickle talk and you, and you, you indulge him. <laughs> Hello there, little sprite. Here to listen to an old man ramble? I always gathered bamboo over in Sasa Sanctuary in Taka Pass, but I haven't been able to get in there lately. The Sparrow Clan suddenly closed the entrance to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, how I do wish I could craft my bamboo ware. I'm an old man and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's just around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Ah, it ain't the end of the world, Gramps. But we got ourselves mixed up in now, Ami. Well, we'll have to worry about him later. He's sad because there's no bamboo. Oh, wait, I saw that. We'll worry about that later once I go in this house, because there's something in this house that we can dig up. Oh, I thought I could have opened it while it was in the air. Streaby! Yeah, that's the one reason you want to go down here to Mr. Bamboo's house. Now, is that tree what I think it is? Because if it is... Because he can power slash it. Totally is! <laughs> well, what do you know? The canine warrior was hiding down here. I almost forgot, but then I saw that, and then it's just like, okay. <laughs> sure. Of course. Of course we got... It. Yes, nighttime. Thank you, game. Of course, we gotta feed this dog. And there's the fourth one. Four down, one to go. Now that my stomach is full, I shall return to my master. So she's got all these dogs. Why don't, why don't she just... Play fetch with him or something. Hey, Ami, how many of these canine warriors does this make? Maybe we should go talk to Princess Fuse now. So yeah, that's your hint that you have gotten four canine warriors, and the fifth one now, you are going to be led to the fifth one. Ah, it's dark. Okay, I'm gonna make it daytime. I'm surprised that counted as a circle. <laughs> Again, <laughs> circle recognition in this game? <laughs> Not exactly perfect. Anyway, oh, look who it is. <sighs> Uh, no, no, not that! By the gods, I vow to... We won't ever... Huh? Susano? He's one tenacious dude. wonder what he's doing here. Bet he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by those monsters. He seems rather, rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. Huh? Oh, that dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to this village... Hey, Pops. Floundering about in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to take a nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Huh? Poochie and little bug. <laughs> oh, uh, <coughs> here to disturb my meditation again? Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work devising strategies for defeating that crimson something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Gale Shrine, but lo and behold, that crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but... Mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well-thought-out plan. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Plan? Pfft. You're right, that's just your excuse to sleep. You are a sad, strange little man, Susano, and you have my pity. Anyway, Clover. Might as well just dig that up really quick. I'm about to say, is it because there's a fence in the way? <laughs> anyway, so, we go through here, and, uh, you know what, actually... Nah, never mind, I can't do it now because I made it daytime. I was gonna do something else, but since it's daytime, I guess not. So we might as well just do what we have to do. I should I, I should have remembered and not switched it back to daytime. God, I can't wait till we get a certain brush technique. Anyway. We should head back to Princess Fuse, and we see that there's a dog. Hey, Ami. That flea bag's giving you the evil eye. I think it noticed that canine tracker you got there. Huh? My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. But first, I wish to try out the skills I've honed on my journey. You hear that, Ami? Princess Fuse forbids me to join in fruitless battles. But I want you to prove your right to bear the canine tracker. Why, you... 
You got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. Well, bring it on, you flea bag. Right for a ball? Bring it. There's only one right answer. I don't know who this flea bag thinks he is, but boy, is he in for a surprise. Dog versus God. I wonder who's gonna win. So we are fighting one of the canine warriors, and oh, he's a bit annoying to fight. He's really quick. He's got this attack over here. Once he glows, once his chest thing glows, he's gonna do that. Yeah, that. Oh, jeez, God, that's a really strong attack. And he's immune to your brush techniques, as I'm sure you can imagine. Okay, so when he when he howls and glows like that, he's gonna friggin' attack you like crazy. And my God, it's gone. Ah, crap. Okay, do I have a traveler's charm? Do I have a traveler's charm? I have two, so I'm just gonna use one. And I'm gonna be completely safe about it. All right, attack him, attack him. Wait until he does uh, that. Okay, just just keep moving. Whenever he does that, just move. Oh god, god, that's his five times combo attack. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And we're not getting hurt. Oh, he's okay. He's gonna do that. Okay, just keep moving. Whenever he does that. Oh, there was only one attack that time. All right, he's almost dead. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Go finish him. No. Yeah, that fight's a little bit annoying. Excuse. Excuse? Hang on. How exactly are you supposed to do that any better? Are you supposed to attack him while he's attacking you? <laughs> or maybe they expect you to use exorcism slips. I don't know. In case you couldn't tell, that's the worst ranking for either time or damage is a shriveled up seed. How in the hell? How in the hell? Stupid. Bullshit. Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Bring it on, Fleabag. You're gonna wish you went straight back to Princess Fusei when we're done with you. Hey, wait. If he's been summoned by the princess, then... Maybe you're not using your brain any soon. Can I Warrior Tay? I am done toying with you. Now you shall re feel the wrath of the Satomi Power Orb! Satomi Power Orb? <laughs> Bring it on, Dog Breath. We ain't afraid of you. Tay? I thought I heard something out there. You two aren't fighting, are you? Huh? Fighting? Uh, no, no, nah, of course not. We're just... We're wrestling. You know? Dog wrestling? Look, not a scratch on either of us. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi Power Orbs. But you've been naughty doggies! No food for you! Hey, prince. Hey, Princess, what's with those Satomi Power Orbs? Each Satomi Canine Warrior bears an orb of a different virtue. The Satomi Power Orbs are the greatest- are the Satomi House's greatest treasure. I need the orb's power to break the Crimson Helm's barrier. But the Canine Warriors never listen when I summon them back, and three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them, but there is no one I could send out to help them. Hey, w w what's what's with that look, lady? Alright, fine, I got the hand. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all, I did say we get them all back without a scratch. And Isu never breaks a promise made to a pretty lady. I know the general locations of the three remaining canine warriors. I shall mark them on your map. So we've got one here in Taka Pass, one back in the Agata Forest, and one back in Kamiki Village. So, yep, those are the three areas we're going to be checking out. You have the canine tracker. They shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is, if they have not been injured, or even worse. Please hurry, we must get the power orbs and break the barrier. So we have our mission. With five of the canine warriors returned, we have to find three more. And we have the canine, uh, the canine tracker helping us. So, we are going to cut it here. Next time, we are going to begin our hunt for the remaining three canine warriors. And hopefully get the last three power orbs. And find our way. Find our way find our way. I'm good with words, aren't I, guys? <laughs> That's why you watch me. We're going to hopefully get into the Gale Shrine, because that place is very important. The Crimson Helm is a uh, hold up in there, and we gotta kick its ass. So hopefully the Power Orbs will get us in there. And we're gonna start looking for the K9 Warriors that hold those orbs next time. But for now, we're gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Okami.